hi guys welcome to my youtube channel if this is the first time of seeing this face you're highly welcome and to my wonderful returning subscribers i love you all yeah we teach make learning easy for you and simple we deal with health issues talk on nursing tips how to pass your exams and all that and of course entertainment so in today's video i'm going to show you things to do immediately after having sex in order to prevent uti urinary tract infection sexually transmitted infection and you know avoiding unwanted pregnancy so let's go there the first one i have is p after sex when you're done with sex you know you know the process of maybe finding the vaginal orifice and everything the pineal body that is the penis can, can actually touch the urethra side that is the external urethra orifice and if there is any infection that the man has it can actually you know travel through the external urethra orifice and just you know enter but when you kind of you know pee immediately after sex it will flush you know down the bacteria or the infection as the case may be and you know that the content of the urine is so acidic it, it's acidic in nature so it's going to kill the bacteria and maybe you might ask me ah immediately after having said i don't have the ought to to uh, pee or to urinate and this brings us to the second tip drink enough fluid because maybe if you don't have that urge to you know pee there are so many ways to initiate the pain you can actually take a lot of fluid which will now make make your blood to have the sensation to you need or you can own a tap it can also help you to generate the next one i have here is wash your genital and you know some people don't know how to wash their genital you wash it from, from front to back you know from that external urethra orifice down to the anus you don't wash from anus to the external urethra orifice you don't do that because it can actually you know introduce some organism from the anus down to the external urethra orifice and kind of cause you know infection or lead to urinary tract infection cause harm it's kind of okay to be there because they help in one way or the other but when they migrate from that unique environment meant for them to an to another you know environment it kind of lead to you know infection or cause harm and another thing is wash your hand yeah. because of people that you know you know mm -hmm. those people that are baba in you need to wash your hand because you know your hand is the a favorable place you know for bacteria to grow especially your natives and when you put it down there uh, you wouldn't want anything to go on so you really have to wash your hand before and after sex to avoid infection or urinating is don't brush your teeth immediately after sex because of people that are good in PG. <clears throat> because maybe if the if the man has an infection and you've you've done the oral sex people do do brush their teeth vigorously which will now make you know maybe there will be bleeding and all that and it's can you know when it touches the blood um, can actually cause one thing or the other so our advice instead of brushing just use warm water or any water like that just wash your mouth and spit it out so the next one now is check for bleeding or pain it happens simultaneously because when the vagina is not wet 
and it's maybe when the Bartholin's gland have no released enough lubricants for it to you know be going smooth you know, and also the penis also releases seminal fluid that also help you know to avoid friction and to make the experience blissful but when there is a dysfunction or maybe there is an abnormality maybe if there is a battling cyst and all that it can actually you know cause this painful surgery intercourse which might lead to bleeding you know because when that place is dry and there's vigorous sex it can actually lead to bleeding so immediately after says try to check for pain or you check for bleeding so that you can actually find ways of resolving it next one i have here is wash sex toys there are some people that like using sex toys so it is very very advisable to wash them before putting it inside your vagina or making use of them because it can be of transmission of all these infections be it sexually transmitted infections or urinary tract infection. Another thing is wear loose clothing, specifically cotton clothing, because when you've done the do, uh, you've done your all sweaty and hot, you will like to wear something that we kind of allow air to flow in because a wet and a dampy place is a favorable environment for infection to, you know, bloom. After you find a wet and a dampy environment favorable to grow so you wouldn't want that maybe after enjoying you know and do another thing i have is don't doubt yeah here is doubt hmm. don't wash inside your vagina don't don't dip your hand inside and wash it because god has made it in such a way that the vagina cleans itself. Yeah, you can wash the external genital, which is called the vulva, the one you can see. You can wash it with warm water, with known, you know, scented toilet soap. You don't dip your hand inside your vagina to wash it because by doing so, you are kind of, you know, altering the normal pH, normal pH of the vagina, okay? It's like killing the dead man. Of a company you know robbers can actually come in so when you kind of doubt you alter the pH of the vagina which you now make all these bacteria to find favorable because there's no there's no gate man on the gate or man in the gates so they can actually you know enter as they like come in come out as they like so don't doubt so the last one is after says try to rest try to calm down it's not the time you now be asking mm. babe mm, who is chola who is who is rita mm. uh, who is she that girl i talk to who is she mm -mm, mm -mm. this is not the time for it this is time to you know sleep and even men's brain is of you know dopamine and serotonin which will not induce that sleep that immediately after it's you know it will induce the sleep and maybe you might just be taking offense but you don't know that it's a physiological something that has to happen so maybe after cleaning up in the right way keep it simple and keep it simple don't come and introduce all this Hmm. Pussy smell. Make your pussy smell nice and good. Mm -mm. Or all, all this tightening and all that. It's kind of it's kind of you know alter your alter the pH. So keep it simple. You can actually use warm water as I said before. Warm water. Don't introduce any foreign in this thing. Now just cash out on your behalf and even cause you have like the vendors, we cash out, we make money, deceive you.